89.7 WSHC Shepherdstown, the voice of Shepherd. I'm outside of Halfway Liquors, Wine and Beer with the one, the only, the infamous, the crazy-haired, purple-wearing bandit is Justin Warner. How you doing today, sir? Dude, living the dream. It's always great to be in a Halfway at a liquor store. <laughs> so you're debuting your new book today. Let's talk about that book first off. Yeah, it's uh, it's called The Laws of Cooking and How to Break Them. Uh, and as you know, two former rebels, I think we would uh, like that title. And uh, it's uh, about understanding just like the basic formula behind food uh, and how to make it delicious. I could definitely use that information. Well, you got to buy the book, pal. Do I get a free autograph? Oh, yeah. How much autograph and a selfie go for? Autograph and a selfie is free if you buy the book. Anywhere, anytime, any place. I don't care if I'm in the club, going nuts, having fun. If you come up to me with a copy of that book, even if I'm in VIP, I will leave the VIP, come out, give you an autograph and a selfie. How much is the book? Uh, I think you can, uh, it varies from retailer to retailer. Oh, here we go. MSRP is $35. Woo! What do you mean, woo? <laughs> I got to make money. These shoes don't buy themselves. This shirt is cashmere. We'll talk about the shoes later, man. <laughs> this shirt is cashmere, man. <laughs> where where can they find the book at? Uh, any uh, any of their favorite uh, retailers, bookstores. Uh, if it sounds like a bookstore, they should have a copy. If they don't have a copy, uh, you should demand that they do it. Uh, and it's certainly uh, available at thelawsofcooking.com. So, what inspired you with the book? You know, a lot of times, a lot of people get get successful, find success, uh, and then kind of slack off a little bit. But I noticed with you, you've kind of taken the opportunities presented to you. You kind of heightened it. You did the TV thing, which you still are doing. But now you're taking it to a book, man. That's old school, man. That's old school marketing at its finest. What was the inspiration behind the book in the first place? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I wanted to make a book because I wanted something physical. And I think we live in an age where the physical thing is, is being less and less valued. And I, I just said I want to do it. I want to create a physical thing. The problem with making food for a living is it always disappears. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you have to make it again and again. You know, making a book, it'll sit on the shelf forever and ever till the shelf breaks. All right, so there's one thing that I've noticed about you. Uh, growing up, the hairstyle wasn't, you had a normal hairstyle. So what, what, what's going on these days with the hair, man? That's a great question. So the origin story, I was, I got dumped by my first wife, seriously. And I was so depressed. I was, I'm not laughing. No, I'm laughing because you know this is a good story. I got dumped <laughs> by my first wife. And I was so depressed. So I went to this hairstylist and there it was this dude, he was Turkish. And like he th he threaded my eyebrows. He's like, I will fix you. You know? And he like he's like Hold on, threaded your eyebrows? Hey, dude. Yeah, he's like, I will fix you. And so yeah, he threaded my eyebrows and gave me this haircut and I've had this haircut ever since. And look, I mean, it worked. The second I put the hair on, it's like I just oh, that's what I needed. You know? You definitely got your own unique style, and I will say, as a South High Rebel alumni, this style is not approved by the Hagerstown Gangsters, but since you're with me, you're safe, though. So the purple, purple's definitely cool, man. But let's talk about these shoes, though. Look, people can't see the shoes, but it looks like if you fell off a boat right now, you would definitely float wearing those shoes. Where, where, where do they come from, man? Uh, these are, uh, <laughs> they're called Danska, and they're really great for uh, restaurants. And the reason that they are the way they are is because uh, if you get hot grease in your shoe, laces keep you from taking it off. So imagine if I got hot grease in the shoe, I can just kick it off real fast. And then the leather is super thick on it because if you drop a knife, it won't penetrate the foot. All right, so what's up next for you? I heard uh, this Wednesday night you're going to be on the Food Network again. Let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah, I'm going to be on Cutthroat Kitchen. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm wrecking fools. We'll see. There's going to be three other world-class chefs. And, I mean, in Cutthroat Kitchen, anything can happen. It's a mess. Who are you going up against? Are you able to say? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going against this guy from uh, L.A., very really famous man. Uh, his name's uh, uh, Chef Greenspan, Eric Greenspan. Uh, Kelsey Nixon from Cooking Channel. And uh, Mook from uh, Epic Mealtime. Any fried fish bones here in your future? Oh, good question. No, but you'll see. You'll see. Wait for round two, and you're going to see <laughs> unfried fish bones. You'll see. It's got to be hard to work on so many things at one time and then not be able to give anybody the info <laughs> before it comes out. Dude, to be honest, sometimes I just forget about it. Like, I'll, like, do a show. I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I did that. You know, like, <laughs> because if I leave it in me and I'm, like, so excited, it, it's just like a zit, you know. It just, it'll just I'll pop. And then one more thing for you get out of here. You got a big event coming up tonight. It's in Hagerstown, I believe. Yeah. 
You got a wine tasting? Yeah, but it's not public. Oh, it's not public? Yeah. Oh, so I ain't invited that? I'm sorry, dude. What type of shit is that? You got to know the man. <laughs> it figures. We got big movie stars coming to Hagerstown, and I ain't invited to their wine tasting. Well, you know what? You ain't invited my Keystone Light tasting. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm into it, dude. I used to drink Keystone Light on the rocks behind the hospital. <laughs> Serious, we just big pile of rocks and Keystone Lights. You know, I'm not above that. All right, Justin. Hey, man, I really appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for showing love to the second most popular radio DJ in Hagerstown behind Luke Luce Galley. Galley. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> dude, it, dude, it's my pleasure, man. And, it, you know, it's a privilege just to be associated with an act like yours. Hey, man, thanks a lot, man. We'll catch up with you next time. See ya. 89.7 WSHC Shepherdstown, the voice of Shepherd. It is I, it is him, the fat one, the holy one with the big Z boob, and I'm out.